Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do another Wax Basic beginner guide uh, to show you how to basically create a Wax wallet within the new uh, cloud wallet system that was released a little bit ago. Really, this is just the basic steps to go ahead if you are not familiar with Wax, but you want to go ahead and get into Wax, whether it's a game, whether it's Funko, whether it's anything related to Wax, you need a wallet for it. So this is going to go ahead and show you how to create a cloud wallet that you can go ahead and use. And we'll do some future videos on some of the features around it, but this is the basic setup that you do. What you're going to want to go to is mycloudwallet.com. There will be a link in the description down below. Uh, so you can go ahead and click on that. And this is the first screen that you're going to see, at least as of the time of this recording. So what you're going to do is if you already have a wallet, you can go ahead and log in. It'll give you access to your cloud wallet and you can go ahead and use it. But we're going to create a brand new wallet. In order to do that, you're going to go ahead and click on create. Uh, it's going to bring you to this screen. So what you're going to... It's a little, I, I wish they adjusted this a little bit. You're actually going to have to click on sign up uh, to get to the, the creation screen. You have a couple options here. You can go ahead and sign up with your social. That's the easiest. That's easiest to access. If you have a Facebook, Gmail, Discord, uh, Steam account, you can go ahead and access to that just by clicking on here. What I'm going to show you today is how to create one with a uh, email address and password, uh, but it's a similar, similar setup. Uh, if you do decide to go through the socials uh, and, and that's the, the choice that you make. So let's go ahead and down here. Uh, you're going to need to go ahead and you put in a username or uh, an email address is, is really what you should be using here. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, a throwaway account. I'm going to use wax at warriorlioningaming.com. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put a password in here. Uh, so you can go ahead and obviously make any password that you would like to make. Uh, I, I'm not going to show you my password, obviously, uh, but you go ahead and use something that's strong uh, and that has uh, the normal characteristics of a good password. Once you have that in there, go ahead and click on create. Uh, you're going to wait a second while it generates. Uh, it says now you go to your email account uh, and go ahead and approve or confirm that your email account is correct. Uh, they don't want a whole bunch of people just kind of spamming and botting wallets. Um, so on a separate screen, I'm going ahead into my email account to go ahead and approve this. Once you're in your email account, you're basically just going to have an email that looks like this. Uh, and then you can go ahead and click on uh, activate your account. So we'll go ahead and do that, activate it. Uh, and then I'll, I'll show you the next steps shortly after this. I'll be right back. Once you go ahead and you accept uh, or activate the, the email or the, the, the button that's in the email, it's going to bring you to this screen. You're backlogged into your account. Um, so what you're going to do is the next step for this is you need to go ahead and deposit five wax. The reason for this is they were having a lot of people that were just going through the process of creating a whole bunch of wallets, uh, which was also creating an issue within Wax. So now you have to go ahead and put five Wax into it in order to officially create your wallet. Some sort of exchange that, that allows you to, to grab Wax, or if you have a friend that's already in Wax, you can ask them for five Wax. Well, five Wax is, is really cheap. It's less than 50 cents. Um, so I'm sure that a lot of people, if you have friends in the system, that they'll be happy to give you five Wax. Um, so in order to go ahead and get five Wax in here, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a resource button up here. You can go ahead and click on that and it's going to ask you to stake. This is at least the way I do it. There's a couple ways you can go through this process. Uh, click on stake and what's going to come up is it's basically saying that it's awaiting a deposit uh, before it can actually prepare your wallet and give you a wallet address. In order to do that, you can go ahead and choose payments by going through that process or you can have a friend that will go ahead and send it to you. It is incredibly important that when they send it to you, they remember to go ahead and add the memo in here also. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and send it from another account while we're talking here. I'm going to go ahead and actually probably send over uh, 15 wax uh, because there's you also want to probably go ahead and stake some in addition uh, to actually uh, just the initial deposit. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So what I am doing is I'm going through the process to send uh let's actually i'm going to send five over uh to this address and then we'll send 10 once the 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 wallet is actually created uh to make sure that we um 
have enough to go ahead and stake at least for some initial games you'll you'll eventually want more than 10 staked uh but at least to get started that that's what you're going to want and you can see it almost instantly i literally pressed the button and it went ahead and created my wallet so now you officially have a wallet where you can go ahead and put different items into if you have free to play you can go ahead and do free to play um, and in order to get your wallet address that you're going to use for these games it is right up here in the top so that is officially this wallet address. It's some crazy numbers that end in wham. Um, but as I mentioned, you're gonna another key item that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and stake a little bit of wax. So what you will wanna do is uh, either buy some additional wax or have a friend send you a little bit more wax. Uh, you copy this address. And what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and send probably, probably yeah, we'll just go 10 so I can show you actually how it, it all works. Um, so we'll send 10 over. Uh, and that'll be here in a few seconds. It's actually the nice thing about wax is it is pretty quick uh, As far as the transferring what I may need to do is go ahead and refresh because it is web-based uh, So we'll go ahead and refresh. I may actually already have it in my account. There it is So you see your balance up here. You see your balance here as far as the value of it I put 10 in that's 40 cents uh, at the time of this recording. So it's not a lot of money there um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stake and the important items to go ahead and stake uh, depends on the games that you're playing. Uh, you can go ahead and click on resources, stake, and now you're going to see a little bit of a different screen. Uh, the important items is CPU and RAM. Net may come into effect at some point, but I keep this super low. The most you're going to have to stake into is CPU uh, with a little bit into RAM. So what we're going to do, we have 10 wax. What I'll do is I'm going to put eight wax into CPU. See eight wax, CPU is selected, and click on stake. Uh, it's going to ask you. This is an authentication process to make sure. Are you sure you want to do this? I did. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. You'll see two up here, and now you're going to go ahead and see that I have CPU available. Uh, and what CPU is is when you play a game, it does take CPU in order to uh, do the process and transactions of the game. So that's why CPU is important. RAM is also important because when you're doing also when you're doing transactions or you're listing things to sell or buy, that's where RAM is going to come into play. So we're going to go ahead and put two wax into this and we'll go ahead and buy the wax. Uh, and I have a whole separate video as far as how to buy stake CPU uh, and different resources and, and also get that back. Um, you can see I'm actually it's it's the transactions too high <laughs> So I probably should have put the the RAM in there first. So let's see if I can do one RAM uh, To buy it may actually give me an error here. Oh, there we go one went through uh, Two was too high because I had no RAM in there So you may have to reduce it just a smidge uh, and then we'll go ahead and put the other RAM in there um, So that's as simple as it is uh, So now we have a wallet created you have a wallet address that you can go ahead and start using uh, in Atomic Hub and different games, free to play games. You have a little bit staked. You're probably going to need a little bit more stake to play a lot of the games. Uh, but I want to just give you an idea of what it looks like as far as to, to get that initial staking in there. Um, so that's as simple as it is. Creating a wallet, it's a few easy steps. Go to the website, mycloudwallet.com. Go ahead and register either through socials or an email and password. Uh, you got to send uh five wax to that address that i showed you including the memo and once that is created uh you can go ahead and stake some wax to make sure you have the resources in order to play there's no uh gas fees there's nothing beyond that uh it's four easy steps you can get the setup within like two minutes if you have someone that can send it over to you pretty quickly uh it's a really simple process i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye